No, J.K. Dobbins ain't about to leave the Ravens to go there, right? Ain't, ain't no way. Well, maybe it is. Because J.K. Dobbins, he had a visit lined up that he took with the L.A. Chargers. With Justin Herbert, cool. With Hayden Hurst, cool. With Jim Harbaugh, cool. With Gus Edwards, cool. With... Bradley Bozeman, cool, blah, 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 blah. it ain't even about none of them, no. With Greg Roman. Is it still cool? Take your clean before we get into the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn the notifications on and run them likes up. J.K. Dobbins. I don't really like this one for you, big dog. Because J.K. Dobbins, with him visiting with the Chargers, not saying that it's the end all be all that, okay, since he took this visit, then he's absolutely going to sign with the Chargers, but that does increase his chances with signing with the Chargers. Especially his familiarity with some people over there. But this is the same J.K. Dobbins that was frustrated when the Baltimore Ravens, when the specific offensive coordinator Gregory P. Roman did not give him the ball on the goal line and instead decided to call the QB sneak with Tyler Huntley. This is the same J.K. Dobbins that had, had moments, different moments of frustration in that offense under Greg Roman, but to possibly go right back to it. Hey, I, I, who knows? Who, who knows what could possibly happen? But I, I guess maybe J.K. Dobbins, maybe he ain't got a problem with it like he said uh, he did. Maybe he like, you know what? Let bygones be bygones and so on and so on. I done worked under one Harbaugh for a while. I done work under the other one. I done been with Greg Roman pretty much my entire career. Why not? Keep keep it up. Because with Greg Roman, obviously, as a running back, you, you, you look at different things and you think, hold up. Yeah, I could really do some things in this offense. I, I could really kind of show out in this offense. Maybe not come playoff time, but during a regular season, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, we're going to be all right. And maybe J.K. Dobbins was thinking, you know what? Chargers don't be making the playoffs anyway, so I'm not even going to be in that situation. So, But, no, nah, I'm, I'm just playing, though. But with, with J.K. Dobbins, I just thought it was very, uh, I thought it was funny, almost. It's almost comical that he visited with uh, the Chargers. But, again, I get it, it's NFL. And you're running back. And J.K. Dobbins is in a tough, tough, tough situation. Because he, like we've continued to talk about, all the, all the qualities of a, a RB1 in the NFL. Every single quality. He can run, he can cut, he can get you a stiff arm, he can catch, he break tackle. He, he can do everything. As a RB1, running back one. But the only thing that's, that's just killed his career has been the injuries. And you, you feel for him because with J.K. Dobbins, we know with Gus Edwards, we've seen the flashes, we've seen the potential, but Ravens never really said, Gus, you're going to be the guy. You, you, we want you to be our true RB1. They never did that. With Justice Hill, they never viewed him as an RB1, but he also, of course, never got the opportunities. With Keaton Mitchell, it was looking like it was looking like we were getting something. But then he unfortunately got hurt and got lost for the season. And I, I'm worried for Keaton Mitchell because I just hope that that doesn't have any long-term impact on just his opportunity. Um, I know that it'll, it'll obviously have a short-term impact on his opportunity Because we don't even know when he's coming back But I hope it doesn't have a long-term impact on his opportunity But anyway, uh, with J.K. Dobbins a po uh, Which is different from a lot of other running backs Besides Mark Ingram Because they signed Mark Ingram to be the guy But there had been a long stretch, a long period of time For the Baltimore Ravens Where they were getting all these different running backs Like we had um, Justin Forsett That was clearly our RB1 back in those days Because after Ray Rice It was just the only true RB1s that the Baltimore Ravens had after Ray Rice was Justin Forsett and Mark Ingram. And that's it. Let me let me know if I'm forgetting somebody. Because I might be, but I don't think I am. Because all the other running backs that the Baltimore Ravens have had have been running back by committee. They've have they've had guys that have started, but who has been their like true RB1? Like, oh yeah, that's that's Ravens guy. Alice Collins, he he was kind of RB1, kind of, but not like clear cut, like straight up RB1. Um, but he did take the majority of the carries, but it was still uh, running back by committee. And enough teams do running back by committee nowadays, but uh, it was seeming like with J.K. Dobbins, 
like the Ravens, they wanted him to be the guy. They wanted him to take over. They, they wanted him to really take the bulk of the carries for the Baltimore Ravens and really be, it seemed like they wanted to go back to that RB1 style. And right when they were giving him the keys, right when they said, JK, it's all yours, take it, he got hurt. And that was when he got hurt in that preseason game. And, yeah, that just messed up everything. And you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? He's actually – well, he, he got to sign with them first. He ain't signed with them as of yet. But if he goes back there, it's like a lot of stuff that – a lot of stuff that he would possibly be going back to is stuff that kind of messed him up. Like, we already talked about the situation in the playoff game against the Bengals, and he was frustrated after that game, say, hey, the, that should have been me. It should have been me getting the carries and whatnot. But in that preseason game, I'm like 99% sure it was actually Bradley Bozeman that missed the block. And we know mistakes happen. Mistakes happen. We, we all make mistakes on the job all the time. It's, it's life. It is what it is. It ain't, it ain't a big deal. But Bradley Bozeman would be blocking for him once again. And again, one mistake, just because somebody made one mistake and it ended up costing J.K. Dobbins his, not his career, but his season. It doesn't mean that that person's a bad player because Bradley Bozeman is by no means a bad player at all. Um, but he will be behind him again. So w w with that being said, I just, I really wonder if this visit is just to sort of put his name back out there. I wonder if it's a Harbaugh doing a favor because that's something to think about too. Because, and John Harbaugh came out and said it before, but he talked about, like, I remember when they had, um, I think it was Crockett Gilmore. And he said that they do this before, they do this sometimes where they will bring in players for visits just so they can get their name circulating in the league again. Just so they can start to get them some buzz again. So I wonder, I wonder if this is one of those scenarios where Jim Harbaugh, the brother, the younger brother of John Harbaugh, the younger brother. It's, that's crazy that Jim Harbaugh is a younger brother. It don't, anyway, um, I, I wonder if this is Jim Harbaugh doing John Harbaugh and J.K. Dobbins a little favor. Cause, cause, and they already got Gus Edwards too. So imagine that. Like, imagine that's why this is, the whole thing is so funny. And if this actually happens, if this goes down, it's gonna be like, whoa! Like, these are the the Los Angeles Ravens. That's what they are, the Los Angeles Ravens. Cause if the, if he signs there, he will be. It'll be J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards all over again. Not a bad tandem now. Not a bad tandem at all. Cause both of those boys can run the ball. Both of those boys can play. They can play like crazy. But again, with J.K. Dobbins, he just he got to stay healthy. So is he going to really leave the Baltimore Ravens to go to the L.A. Ravens? Well, it is a real possibility.